Hi everyone. How you doing? It's Saturday. I woke up with my phone blowing up. I think we're just going to chill tonight. We've got the uh, intro song from our lovely Miss Summer Savage. So let's go. Time to go love, time to go love, time to go love, it's time to go love. Time to go love, time to go love, it's time to go love, it's time to go love. We do love a theme song. We love an intro, musical, hand sung. A homemade intro. I I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, yo. But either way, it's uh, it's been that kind of day. I've spent all day since I woke up pretty much trying to catch up, even while I was having my first cup of coffee. And uh, I'm already freaking exhausted. <laughs> It's nuts, but, um, yeah, yeah, stuff's happening all over the place, and, uh, down in the description box, I did remember to link to Jordan and McKay and Funday Fridays, shout out to both of them, shout out to Jordan, recovering from your surgery, girl, I have been there, shout out to McKay, doing that stay-at-home dad magic. Shout out to Reverend Jen and King James. You guys are rocking it. They're never going to see this, but, you know, I give my shout outs, you know? Gots to. I gots to. Um, speaking of shout outs, let's see who is here. We got Hef. We got Hef coming in with a distinctly Spanish flair. Hola. Hello to Kim D. We chilling like Magellan, meaning we're all cool. We just don't know where we are. Lord Kiss Freak, it's been a minute. Hey, bro, good to see ya. Ryan Bremer was cracking. Good to see ya. Kelly B69, hiya. Ms. Maya over there in Norway, rocking her. Arctic Circle, Jen, our beloved pup groomer. Hey, hey, Janet G. Good to see you. Sandy Wandy, Don LaMaison. Good to see you, Sandy Wandy. Good to see you, Susan P. Glad you're here. Kimberly Gabaldon is here, and we love it. Thank goodness, because I don't know how we get through these shows without you, girl. Deanna Downey, hello, hello, God Morgan, Mizek Blama, good to see you. Kim White is here, hey, hey, all. Bilf, we love us some Bilf. Once you realize the machine elves are real, you can begin to see that everything else, everything is fake, and a well formed imagination is worth as much as any of the senses. Wow, that went deep. But I agree, 100%. Janet G, Heather McLaughlin, hey, good to see you, Donnie Scattered, hello, aw, that's very sweet, I hope you escape the five cent realities of the psychological fascists, yes, Joanne Rice, glad to see you with your hand pink waving, Not frozen yet, but who knows what will happen. I didn't freeze until well into last night's stream, so I have no idea what's going to happen tonight. Not a clue. And, you know, that's what keeps us on our toes, isn't it? Purple Groovy, here from the jump. Nice, nice. Hi, good to see you. Rosalind, hello. And here we go. We're bringing it early tonight because... Well, it's Saturday night, and we partying. We partying. Even if we're not partying with 
illicit substances, even if the substance that you are ingesting is seafood snacks or potato chips or cookies, could be anything, could be um, edamame, something healthy, could be hummus, water. I know y'all ain't drinking enough water. Could be uh, dried flour, the bits of, of which are maybe distilled into an oil or um, maybe just dried that you stuff into a bowl and light on fire, whatever you want to do. Toast and peanut butter. Rosa Lang. Hey, girl. Good to see ya. But yeah, it's time. We're getting it off. We're, we're, we're going to get it started off right. We're not getting it off. That's a little bit different. We're getting it started off right. Make sure I freeze with a cute face on. I'm going to try. I can't make any promises. But I can say Z Cheers. It can be puppy snuggles, Jen. Absolutely. Snickers. Mark Hardman is, is indulging in Snickers. Hell yeah. Duchess Diana. Hello. Good evening. Good morning and good afternoon. Ooh, what happened? Lord Kiss Freak made out like a bandit today. Wally World lost power last night. So they were just giving away all the meat and produce. I loaded up my truck to the tits like three or four K worth. Damn. Okay. Good on you. Well done. Mary, we went to the Amish country yesterday evening, beautiful sunset and food. Very nice. Simple red wine for Brosseleng. Very nice. Little Caesars and a cold Bud Light lime. Nice. Nice. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Indulge in whatever it is that you choose. Oh, Kara McAllister, the first one busting them out tonight. That's how we roll. Well done, lady. Oh, I'm partaking with breakfast and what I'm eating would probably gross out most of you Americans. Wait, is it Sir Stroming? I hope not. Ooh, I may be overserved and now air frying dumpling bites. Well, you know what? As long as you're home safe. And your air frying, I mean, air frying is relatively safe as long as you don't set the thing for like 300 minutes and walk away from it. But I bet they're good, though. I want dumpling bites. Got like 40 pounds of bacon. Oh, my fuck, yes. I hope you have a big old freezer. Probably Marmite, says Duchess Diana. You know what? I ain't mad at Marmite, though. I've become my young self's nightmare. Vicks on the chest, diaper rash cream on my nose, and hot tea. And you know what? That's okay. You can be your young self's nightmare. We won't tell anybody. Hello there, Daniel Sander. Good to see you. Yep, you're home safe and you have not, you're not that overserved. Well done, corn freak. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I really do hope that you have a good, uh, a, a big old freezer there. You have a six foot wide chest freezer. Very nice. Very nice. But you know what? I'm not really interested in actual measurements because you're Canadian and I'm American and we do measurements differently. How many bodies? This is important. I like Marmite. It's my secret shame. You know what? Don't be ashamed, Rosalind. I refuse to have guilty pleasures. Refuse. I admit it. I listen to Hanson. Voluntarily. Ending along. 
it's okay. No shame. I listen to K-pop. No shame. I've been a Durrani since I was 10 years old. No shame. It's okay. Don't have any shame. Corn Frankwood to an OzFest tribute concert. Okay. Right on. Oh, God, no. I've tried Sir Strumming one time and never again, but it is some fish thing in tomato sauce. We call it plane crash because it looks like a mess. <laughs> Oh my God, that's amazing. Holy shit. Hey, Carrie Ann is here. The not so graceful swan is here. Christie's boutique. I resisted ice cream tonight. I've lost almost 20 pounds just cutting out the nighttime ice cream and cookies. Fucking A. Good job. Barbara made it. Barbara made it. It's amazing. I love this. Wahoo, indeed. You eat sarstroming in August. The last two years, there's been a shortage of this product. I can't say that that's not a good thing. I mean, maybe that's just me. Susie Overholtz is here. Hey, lady. Wow, look at everybody. I'm so happy. I have a black belt in Taekwondo and my masters are from Korea. They played K-pop nonstop during all our classes. Then I took my kids to KCON in Los Angeles for fun. Nice. You know what, Janet G? You want to do something? You want to see something fun. Um, there is a Taekwondo school in... Seoul. I think they're in Seoul and they do um, music videos. They're called the K Tigers and they do all sorts of really cool videos on YouTube. Um, and I just, I think they're fantastic. They feature little kids, they feature men, they feature women, they feature girls and it's just amazing. I love the K-Tigers. I am not mad at K-Tigers at all. So right on. I would like to do Taekwondo. I would like to learn it because it looks really cool. And I think it could be really helpful um, with my uh, physical health challenges. Um, but I don't know that there's anywhere here on Hoth that actually teaches it, you know? So I don't know what to say. I think they're mostly white people. What on earth? Some kind of a challenge. Oh, and can see, yes. Hi all, can't see it because on phone, but stop to send love to you all and the cruise goddess. Love you, crazy kids. Well, we love you right back, Anne Casillas, and I'm so glad that you popped in to say hello. I don't know what challenge Hef is talking about, but if it's a Sustroming Hef uh, challenge, I don't want anything to do with it. Yes, please help the algorithm. Thank you, Mark Hardman. I appreciate it. You can hit like, you can hit dislike. I'm not trying to tell you what to think, but uh, if you do hit like, please check and make sure that you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's free. It's simple. And it really does help me out if you subscribe. Uh, you can choose not to have any notifications at all, but if you do want to tickle my bell, select all so that you know when my random ass goes online, because I never know when I'm going to go online, honestly. If your last name is Scoville, you leave the can of Sir Stroming out in Arizona sun for a week before you eat it. Okay, now, Lord Kiss Freak, there's no reason to be completely even more disgusting. Don't make me nauseous right now. I've already had enough stuff that makes me nauseous. 
Been out of town, but stayed up late tonight just for the dirty stay-ups. Aw, the not-so-graceful swan. Thank you, honey. We're glad you're here. Duchess Diana is, Diana is going to drink the leftover Chianti. I almost called her Duchess Diana because Chianti uh, has got a little ahead of me. That just happens. I did a live on the Book of Face yesterday, almost 30 minutes as an event. Now to download it to my computer for the tubes. Nice. Good job, Kim. Woo-woo. Woo-woo, indeed. I know that there are... Uh, I peeked in on Facebook on my phone. I'm really bad at Facebooking on my phone. But um, I know I peeked in there and saw that there's a bunch of friend requests. And because of the filters that I employ on Facebook, I have to actually go in and do each one manually and make adjustments and things and stuff. So um, I will be doing that tomorrow. Not today, Thetan. This is amazing. I don't even know how to explain what Sir Stroming is. Fish gone bad in a metal box. I mean, that's succinct. Sunshines is here. Hello. Good to see you. You might want to ban that on the cruise. That could leave a smell. What, Marmite or Sir Stroming? I don't think anybody's going to try to bring Sir Stroming on a cruise. I think they know better. Especially if there's a shortage, because it might be um, contraband. You wouldn't want to have that confiscated from you just because rules, right? To say that stuff smells is an understatement. I hear you, Daniel Sander. I don't get the tuna today. Not worth driving in the ice storm. Yeah, I hear you. Hanger Sacto, welcome back. It's been a little bit. Good to see you. Hello, Dwayne Gloves, RN, SP, and Kristen Melinda. Oh, my goodness. Hi, everyone. Was trying to go to bed. I failed. That's all right. We're not mad at you. We're glad you're here. Susan P is here. I probably shouted her out already. So stroming is a fish preserved by fermentation. The fish is salted, placed in open vats, and allowed to ferment. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to yuck anyone's yum here, but no. Bless the crochet. I did a live from Amish country. I am one away from 250 subs, you guys. Go sub. Go sub. Let's get her to 500 if we can. Blessed to crochet. Get it. What's left over, Chianti? Chianti. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Well, look who's here. Good day, good day, sir. Hi, Alan Ballantyne. Good to see you. Welcome to the Dirty Stay Ups, even though it's what? Evening? There, early evening there? Late afternoon, early evening? I don't know what time it is in the future. Hi. We're glad to have you here. Welcome. I thought the Norwegian dried fish smelled bad, but heck, that is like a summer flower breeze compared to Sir Stroming. Oh, shit. Hello, Anne Hummingbird. Fish doesn't smell bad unless it's old. Yeah, the problem is with, with this fish that we're talking about is that it's allowed to get old in public. And then people eat it. It's almost as bad as loot fisk. Blah. <laughs> Some people are into anchovies and I ain't mad about that. Fish beer. What the F? Ah, see, and this is 
Mr. Rogers always told us to look for the helpers. She lives in Florida. She's driving to the cruise port. Anything you can't bring on the plane you need, she can drive it to the port for us. I'm just going to recommend that maybe not Surstroming or Lutefisk or Durian. Thank you. Just for me. I'm very sensitive when it comes to fragrances. Sir Stroming is horrible, says Alan Ballantyne. That man is looking like he speaks from a place of experience. That's amazing. 4.20 p.m. Sunday. Okay. All right. So it's afternoon. The can looks like it can explode every time. That's amazing. After the live last night, I fell asleep and had the craziest dreams. Ooh, do tell, Duchess Diana. Like, I always have vivid dreams because, well, the meds I'm on help with that, but. You can have all the smelly old fish. Wolf machine. I inherited my favorite shirt from my grandfather and it says, Van Lutfisk is outlawed. Only outlaws will have Lutfisk. Well, maybe that's as it should be. I mean, I grew up in a side-by-side -side duplex and our landlady who lived next door, she, um, she would occasionally bring that home. We could smell it through the wall. It's not pretty. Really not pretty. Knitting needles, crochet hooks, and CBD. I hear you. I hear you, Tampa B man. Mariana Eric's daughter Berkvist. Yay! Isn't it nice that you can actually see me communicating with you guys right now? And I'm not frozen again. You know nothing about the cruise, but looking forward to meeting everyone. And we are looking forward to meeting you, sir. Now, I have heard uh, our Tommy say a number of times that you were getting nervous about the cruise. And now I want to know what he was spinning you up about. Was he just taking the piss? Because I bet he was. Let me know. Let me know. Because I am here to dispel dispel all the nerves about the cruise it's you know this is what i do and i'm the bitch who's putting the whole thing together so you know loot fisk laid the premise for one of the best king of the hill episodes that is debatable because there's a lot of good king of the hill episodes involving the heartwarming resolution of a texas minnesota culture clash Okay. Well, I mean, I-35 does run from here in Upper Hoth straight into deep in the heart of Texas. Um, that was probably out of tune. Also, I don't care. Um, and Texas wound up stealing our hockey team. They used to be the Minnesota North Stars, and then they became the Dallas Stars like the filthy traitorous people that they are. I'll have to look that up. We've missed you, Tampa B man. Durian is a lot, Rosalind. And the uh I can't say that Lutefisk smells exactly like putrefaction like Durian does. But I can tell you that it, it ain't nice. Tao, I have an idea for the people who are not able to go on the cruise. That maybe we could have a contest for a souvenir that you bring back from the cruise. Oh, I like that. I like that whole idea. Thank you, Purple Groovy. I dig that. 
I'm not sure what the contest would be or how we would base it or anything else. But you know what? Now that it's in my favorite little brain meats, it's going to sit there and simmer and we'll come up with something. I like that. Sunshines. I wish I was one of the cool kids who got to go the cruise. That's okay. There's a lot of people who can't go. And that's why I'm hoping that this year is not going to be the Xenu Marlene cruise, but rather the first annual Xenu Marlene cruise. You know me, it's not a, it's not an episode with the dirty stay-ups unless I'm fucking with my bangs and unhappy with them. Um, I'm hoping that it's the first annual. We're going to do this more. We're going to be having more connection because that's just how we do. It's, it's going to happen. Alan Valentine, no, I'm nervous, but yes, nervous, yes, but excited. Okay, good. Well, we're looking forward to meeting you. And if there's anything in particular that you're nervous about, I can help you. I can help you. And I've already reached out to you privately and let you know that as well. So if you don't want to do things, you know, all up here in the, in the public chat, anything that you want to ask me about, you just let me know. Okay, you asked. I was playing a wild 3D Dungeons and Dragons video game with a bunch of single men when a cow outside went into labor and birthed a calf. There were sandwiches, too. I love this so much. <laughs> I need to know more about the sandwiches. <laughs> Were they dancing? Were they walking around? Were they floating through the air? Were they laid out on a buffet table? Were they like... I, I mean, when you give us all of these other details and then you just tack on, there were sandwiches too. <laughs> Diana, we need more information. <laughs> he can't just tell us. Oh, yeah, BT dubs, sandwiches. Girl. <laughs> Help me. Help me help you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be laughing about this one for a while. I'm so sorry. Rick Spicer is here. Hi, Rick Spicer. Good to see you. Anne Hummingbird is proud of the Colorado Avalanche. That's fine. Kara got jewelry from Artsy Tartsy yesterday. I love it so much. Alan's going to be flying into Canada again. I'm sorry, Chinada? Is that what I'm supposed to call it, Lord Kiss Freak? Um, nice. Nice, nice. I have friends who love durian. I used to think they were sane. My world was rocked. You know what? I've heard really good things about the taste of durian. You just got to get past the smell. And if you can get past the smell, the reward is that it's delightful. There were sandwiches also. I'm loving the variety of subjects going on in the chat. It's a busy night at Denny's. You sure is. It sure is. It's like, you know, we got what's going on at the corner booth and then we got things happening on the counter and there's a few people in the in the window booths just along the side who are doing all kinds of stuff. It's it's bonkers. Searson, is that how you say cricket? That's amazing. Thank you. L.A. stole the Minnesotans basketball, too. They were the Minneapolis Lakers. See? And that makes sense. 
Because how many lakes are there in Los Angeles? Mm, none. And Casillas is back on the laptop. Ooh, we're in for it now. Well, I mean, you know, how could I not? Of course, I just want you in my new cult, in my new church of cricketarianism. I mean, who wouldn't want an influencer like you on their side? Seriously? Seriously. Come on now. Of course, I'm just trying to love bomb you. Duh. Dang it, Dale. Insurance is a safety net woven by the trust between the policyholder and the guarantor. Dang it, Bobby. That boy ain't right. Darcy H. Been a lurker for a week. Thought I'd say hello to everyone. Well, hello, Darcy. Good to see ya. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for poking your head out and saying hello. Were they Marmite sandwiches? That's a good question. And were they fried egg sandwiches? Dodger Diana, we need to know what kind of sandwiches these were. Vegemite is better. Cricket, are there cruises that leave from China and pick up people in the States on the way? Aye. But usually they're only northbound going to Alaska. And they would start in Vancouver go up to Alaska, cruise some glacier stuff, and they'd either leave them off in um, in Alaska or they'd come back down, depending on the length of the cruise, or they'd come back down and they'd uh, either let people off again in Vancouver or Seattle. But yes. Yes, there are. Sometimes in the autumn, there are some because we've got cruises that go up the east coast so that people can view the autumn colors and so sometimes you'll see them there they'll depart from new york or boston they'll go up uh and wind up somewhere in quebec i believe i don't know if they're doing one ways that way though they might so in theory you might be able to get on the ship in quebec and come back down. Yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can make that happen. So the answer is yes. That was a really long-winded way of saying yes. Was the calf a boy or a girl? Inquiring minds want to know. Duchess Diana, we require more details. I'm sorry. Sunshine's wants it on a t-shirt. There were sandwiches, too. Not so graceful. Swan is interested in more about the sandwiches. Yes. Hef. She dreamed about me, the heifer giving birth. I've tasted durian. What you've heard is wrong. Okay, interesting. I've never tasted it, so I don't know. We played a game where we add in your pants to the end of every statement. Reminds me of the sandwich thing. Yeah, you know, Susie. See, like, when we do fortune cookies, some people, when you open the fortune cookie and you read the fortune, you have to add either in bed, with a gun, or with this fully armed and operational space station. That last one might just be for Star Wars nerds. But yeah, I hear you. Julia 543. Hey, girl. We're glad you're here. Always confused at Denny's too, honey. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard not to be. The guys were all addicted to the video game that was 3D. As I said, I was completely confused on the rules. 
and to which one of them I was dating. I wanted to help the cow, but another woman went out. To help the cow? Or to get sandwiches? We need a lot more information on these sandwiches. I'm glad that we're making you laugh, Rick Spicer. Hell yes. Maybe it wasn't going to good durian. I can just hear Reese calling someone a dusty son for bringing something smelly on the cruise. Carry on my dusty son. Or rather, what's in your carry on my dusty son. They'll be stank when you are done. Take that nasty bath. Take that nasty stuff to land. Don't you cruise no more. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, she went out to ride the cow. Apparently, that was what was needed after giving birth. And the only, I don't know what that of the only result was going for sandwiches. So she rode the cow that was giving birth to go and get sandwiches. I I need more info about the sandwiches. Y'all, my kids think I'm going on a cruise to join a cult. Yep. Yep. We're all a cult. All of us going on this cruise. A focus group is not just an opportunity to earn 50 bucks. It is a chance for the informed lawnmower consumer to provide valuable feedback to the Mason Corporation in a comfortable in the mall setting. You know, I've done some of those focus groups. You'll be bringing Vegemite on the cruise for everyone to try. Alan Valentine, we're going to have to make sure that the cruise staff know to have plenty of toast available because I've I've been told that you have to have it with buttered toast and just a very thin little schmear. You don't want to bring like caviar spoons and have people just dipping into it, you know? Um, I think that we're going to have to, we're going to have to have some kind of toast related gatheration at some point just to make sure that everybody will be able to try it. And I'm really not sure where your jet lagged ass is going to be as far as schedule goes. So it ought to be interesting. It ought to be interesting, but we can figure out something. I believe in us. Bacon. Everybody talking about bacon. They're saying hi to Darcy. We love that. I could do a blog just on my non-drug-induced psychedelic dreams. I believe I wanted tuna sandwich. Okay. So she was riding the cow to maybe get you a tuna sandwich? Tamber June! Hello! Good to see you. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's right. Hef, you silly kids, you're going on a cruise with your cult, not to join a cult. That's right. We're all in the cult of Hef. Seriously. Seattle to Alaska would be lovely next year. I agree, Carrie Ann. Edit, I finished an audiobook. Okay, Tamber June, rock on. Good job. Well done. East Coast is a lot closer for you. Fair enough, Lord Kiss Freak. Do 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 reading through the comments. I didn't get to see the calf, but I'm pretty sure the woman who went to ride the cow was naked. It's a mystery. So it was a a lady cud diva in sort of situation. See what I did there? I'm subtle. I'm going to end up in jail again, but for dealing bacon this time, oh my lord. Well, don't bring it across like 
international borders, heaven. At church, us worldly children would totally deface the religious songs with In My Pants or Under the Covers. Nice. Yes, Rick Spicer, we will have a great time on the cruise. That is the absolute truth. We're going to have a great time. I just know I was losing miserably at the Dungeons and Dragons game because no one would tell me the rules. But Mary is right. It's all about the sandwiches. It's all about the sandwiches. Fun fact, says Purple Groovy. Both front feet come out first when a calf emerges during birth. Just taking a moment to absorb that. Ow. Ow. Yeah, it's quarter after. I think it's about time for that. Toast on peanut butter can count as a sandwich. Yes, it can. Uh, and yes, I am, Julia, going to sing all eight days, whether it's in my cabin or at karaoke or in a private engagement in Barbara's cabin so I can sing her the Night Med song all by herself. Speaking of which, night meds, take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds, time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. Barbara being the real MVP in here. How come I never know how hungry I am till I'm in this chat? How come you never know how hungry you, hungry you are until you go to the grocery store? And you should never shop hungry. But you showed up at Denny's. You don't recall the last thing you ate? It's kind of how it goes. We made money doing focus groups as a kid. Same, Tambor June. Same. Who are you calling weak? I was losing a D&D &D and just wanted a sandwich. That's all. I meant to say the only break was the guys taking turns going for sandwiches. Oh. Sandwiches. Correct. That's the way you have it. Okay. So we're going to have to get like a, a serious toast on deck situation here happening so that we can make sure to do it properly. Because if I'm going to be trying this stuff, and I would like to, I don't want to do it wrong. So we'll work something out, sir. Like I said, people are not going on the cruise to join a cult. You're already in the cult. Yes. I can't go, sadly, but we'll let everyone know if Jane Kember thinks the DEA is waiting at the port. Thank you. We always need a good lookout, and I know that I can count on you. The sandwich tagline really was the best part. I agree. I agree, Donnie Scattered. I agree. We could do a toast with toast. Yes, we could. 
Alan, unless it's me chugging Vegemite from the bottle, you don't get Vegemite in a bottle. Lord Kiss Freak, you've already told me you have a five pound bucket of this stuff in your fridge. Don't even play. Hide your gummies in the Marmite and show no fear. Oh my God. In the dream, I was dating one guy, but then apparently another. I got passed around, but it was all rated G. Something, I'm assuming that this has still something to do with sandwiches. It's all about sandwiches. Be aware when they say with butter for things like mom, right? It's not a small amount of butter. Start with a tablespoon on a piece. And girl, I don't play when it comes to butter. I want all the butter. I've been doing keto, man. I don't fuck when I come around with butter. Good evening, people, places, and perspectives. Hello. Good to see you. I think Reese called dibs on having a cult. That's cool. I make enough bacon to eat some before I'm all done. Mark Hardman would like a sandwich. We're all talking about bacon right now. The cult of Hef. Nice. Reese can join the bacon cult. Barbara is probably naked. She probably is. That pun was utterly terrible. Thank you, Cyberkinder. I appreciate you. We got a naked Barbara. Midnight bacon sandwiches is a real thing on cruises, as it should be. We should all have a sandwich of the night. We're running with the sandwich of the night. So baby, get my bread. You'll be all right. Surrender all your cheese to me tonight. <laughs> I am so sorry, Pat Benatar. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Pat Benatar. <laughs> I almost invited my husband on the cruise tonight. Thankfully, this time I cast my mouth shut. Yeah, you know what? I'm sure that Teddy's lovely, but no. Rick the Baconator. Nice. What did the D and D cow nerd calf and sandwiches really mean? They all must be symbolic of some deeper psychological manifestation. Mark Hardman, I don't have a dream interpretation book, so I'm gonna let you do that homework because no, I ain't doing it. Janet, you forgot to sip her water before taking your night meds, and the melatonin did stick. See, that's why I give the PSA. That's why I give the PSA, folks. First time I've actually taken my night meds in quite a while. Thanks, Chayon. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. We need the day meds song for Alan Valentine. Alan Valentine, do you have day meds that you haven't taken yet? Do you have day meds? Day meds. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Come, Mr. Doctor Man, help me with my problem. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. I had another line, can't remember it right now. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Take one pill, two pill, three pill, drink. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. One pill, two pill, three pill, drink. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Day, me the day meds. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. 
sette. Mi sette, mi sette, mi sette, meds. We gotta take meds. It's still a work in progress, Alan Ballantyne. Don't judge me. Artsy, tartsy. She's here. She's here. Yeah, I didn't say Lady Cowdiva. I said Lady Cud Diva. Cud. Because cows and they, they chew that and. You still can't get over the Xenu Marlene call to partake. Oh, the, the first one in the beginning with the Ave Maria. Thank you. So it's really more of a cult convention then. Yes, right. Precisely. Jesus H. Lap dancing Christ. Why is that necessary? You have the small little pots. You have a five pound bucket that you can just slam your face into. Why is the squeeze bottle necessary? Also, isn't it super thick? How does that work? I'm really confused right now. Like, I know a few things about Australian foods. I've done the Tin Tam Slam. I eat musk lollies and I love them. This Vegemite thing just got me all fucked up. The long and ancient lore of the sandwich will be told far and wide and for our children's children's children to retell and pass on. Yes. Rafi used to sing a song about sandwiches. It is still amazing. You know what? Don't come at me about Rafi. I just introduced my mother to Banana Phone like a couple months ago. I don't think she's recovered. They got sandwiched between the guys. That's possible. Cyber Kinder. Cyber Kinder. Marmite, Marcab, suspicious. Marmite is people energy. Well, at least not a, it's not Soylent. Sandwiches are beautiful. Sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches. I eat them all the time. I eat them in the morning and I eat them after lunch. If I had 100 sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. How do you stuff all of those in your face at the same time, though? And Lord Kiss Freak and Alan Ballantyne, I see that you're talking about a video and I saw that you sent me a YouTube link and um kind of not going to watch it while I'm live. But I will watch it when I'm done. How about we all get hats with future cult leader on them and really confuse the public? That would be funny. Woof, that took it out of me. Must return to lurk mode. Night to all. Good night to you, Donnie Scattered, and thank you so much for emerging. New dirty talk. Baby, get my bread. Come on, baby, get my bread. Yes, people do have to bring clothing on the cruise. I mean, unless they want to wear the same outfit that they boarded in all week long. And you could do that. I mean, you know, hey, you do you, man. But yeah, you should you should bring clothing on the cruise. Pamela SP Butterfly, Donna Maison, just finished watching Desica's stream. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, sing it. Thank you. You're very welcome, Alan Ballantyne. You're very welcome. So now I'm going to dream about Pat Benatar helping to deliver a calf in my field while we all watch and eat bacon sandwiches. Okay. All right. I mean, there are, there are worse dreams that you could have. Am I right? I do love Pat Benatar as well. I love the shit out of Pat Benatar. And if I could have any 
outfit in the world. I want what she wore to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That outfit, I need that. I sense that we have a similar body type. Only I'm, I think I'm a little more titsy than she is. But I want that outfit. And if anybody out there, I'm just putting the call out publicly. If anybody out there knows any way that I can find out where that outfit was sourced, who her stylist was, or if she was her stylist, if I can, I, I need to get my hands on that fucking outfit. Because that is so my aesthetic that I'm beside myself. So somebody, somebody fucking help me. Waiting. Okay. We're waiting for Artsy's email. Awesome singing and lyrics. Thank you, people, places, and perspectives. Thank you. Thank you. What do we got here? As a child, I visited relatives in the southwest coast of Sweden. There I saw fish used for loot fisk hanging out to dry. Sorry for the delay. I'm watching for the beginning with normal speed. That's okay, Mariana. We're not mad at you. That had to have been a sight that, uh, that stuck with you. Cricket random question. Did you get the pick of the SPs in a pod that I made? I did, and I replied to it. I'm making more and we'll be mailing them out soon. I think they're the fucking cutest things I've ever seen. At least this month. They're adorable. And I love them. And I replied, I, I may even have replied in all caps. I was I was pretty emphatic in my reply. The squeeze bottles are good for vid to my. Squeeze bottle is for when no utensils. That's why they have mayo and stuff in squeeze bottles. Yeah, but mayo, I... I kind of thought that Vegemite was thicker than mayo. I thought it was a little bit more sludgy. Tim Tams are amazing. They are. And doing the whole Tim Tam slam with the coffee and everything. Uh -huh. So good. Yeah. And Hummingbird, they are delicious layered um, crunchy cookies that are covered in chocolate. And you can get them at Target now. Or on the Amazon but they're called exactly that. And they have a number of different flavors of fillings and they're, I can't have them right now because I'm doing keto, but they're tasty as shit. And if you bite either end off of a Tim Tam, then you can use it as a straw to suck your coffee up through your hot coffee. And then you slam the whole rest of it into your face because it goes all mushy once the hot coffee goes through and it's amazing. Yum. Kangaroo meat is okay. Not my favorite, but good. I've never had kangaroo meat. I think I've had emu though. I'm fairly certain that I've had emu. Yum. Yeah, Mrs. Cricket's mom didn't know banana phone until a few months ago, Julia. It was terrifying. Zenu Marlene, y'all. Zenu Marlene. All else fails, Alan. If if you can't fit it in your luggage, I'll bring some Tim Tams on the cruise. I'll figure it out. I'm me and the Target in Miami are our best friends at this point. Suggestion we should all meet at 2 a.m. in the dining room on the cruise for a sandwich with a shirt or a cap that says cult leader in training and confuse everyone around. That would be fucking funny. There wouldn't be a whole lot of people awake at 2 a.m., mostly just drunk people trying to get pizza, but that would be funny. Peanut butter sandwich, jelly and jam. One for me, one for David Amram. I love it. Jazzy girl, Sarah. Hey, lady. Good to see you. We were, we were missing our Denmark contingent, so I'm glad you're here. Giraffes also give birth head and feet first. That's a lot of hoofies. 
Sophia, you have come at a fun time. We are having a ridiculous time this evening. We are having an absolutely ridiculous time. Yeah, they do. The Tim Tams do come in all different flavors. Titsy is a fun word. Yes, it is. It is, Sarah. Walmart sells Tim Tams online. Okay. I think Amazon does as well. I know that Target sells them in store. Sunshines. I must sleep now. I'm day walking with the grandson in a few hours, holding, hoping to up my status to one of these cool kids. Well, you know what? I hope you can too. But we're just glad that you come in and hang out with us. Yeah, it's not a status thing. We're not mean girls about it. Enjoy time with your grandson. Sleep sweet. Rest well. You're funny, Rick Spicer. Buy a bathing suit too big so you can talk about all the weight you lost. That's funny. That's very funny. I've been doing keto for a couple of years now. It works. Yeah, it sure as shit does, doesn't it? I love it. I love it. I agree with you, Alan. But she knew Baby Beluga, right? No. She doesn't know from Rafi. She never heard of him. What's a banana phone? Barbara, you spend all of this time on the YouTubes. When you're done here, Google Rafi, R-A-F-F-I, banana phone. It's serious. It's serious business. I teach banana phone to all of my second graders. It is in the curriculum as it should be. Banana phone is not similar to a banana hammock, Barbara. Yes, Kara, that's the one who sings Baby Beluga. Alan Valentine, you have to stop right now. I'm way more shook about this than I am about my mom not knowing banana phone. You've never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. I can accept this. We come from different cultures. We had different upbringings. I understand that. And that's okay. But if we're all going to be trying Vegemite, one of the nights on the cruise, when you're in your cabin, all by your lonesome, or not, I mean, whatever, I don't judge, and you think, maybe, maybe I want a snack. Should I go and get pizza? Hang out at the pizza place with all the drunk people? Or should I ring up room service and have them bring a snack to my cabin where I don't have to deal with all of that craziness? The night that you do that, get the peanut butter and jelly. No, I'm not joking. Yes, this is serious business. Get the peanut butter and jelly. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't make any calls on banana hammocks. That is very true. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Banana phone. I've got this feeling, it's so appealing, 
got a new sleeping allergy, sleeping slash allergy med, and I'm falling asleep before I remember my nightmare meds. Ooh, girl. They haven't been working great. I take the same ones as Liz Ferris, the Max Dose, still so bad. I am so sorry. That stinks. Yeah, keto bread. Hell yeah. Keto bread, Susan P. I love that shit. And very frequently, um, I make myself a keto bread PB&J on toast, but I butter the toast to make it even more keto. And it's keto bread, so it's very low carb. Um, and I use crab apple jelly that I made myself using a sugar substitute called allulose. So, yeah, I'm not here to fuck around. doop a doop a doop She didn't know Rafi world rocked. Yeah, Rosalind, my world is a lot more rocked about Alan Ballantyne having never had a PB&J. It's not a thing there in Australia. Okay, I get it. I understand cultural differences. Hi, care for JC. Good to see ya. Free zone bone phone, unstable datum. Yeah, you don't drink either. Good. So get the PB&J delivered to your cabin one of the nights during the cruise. And you can call me afterwards and you can tell me how amazing it is. How is that possible? In Houston, there was an entire restaurant dedicated to PB&J. That's true. That's true. There's also really good Vietnamese food in Houston. Been there. Barbara's going to go make a PB&J sandwich. Yep. Sophia, you've never had one either. That's okay. It's It's got to be an American thing. That's fine. It's got to be a Yanks thing. Um, speaking of Mark Hardman, now that there's damn near 70 people in here, hi, everybody. Good to see you. Um, I am privy to certain information. And, um, I don't know whether or not the cruise has gluten-free pizza, but we can certainly do some asking. Okay, that's not to my liking, Lord Kiss Freak. That is not uh, to my tastes, but you know what? If you're into it, then you go right ahead. I've never had a fluffernutter, which sounds so rude as an adult. Yes. And it should. No PB&J in Norway. So we've got Norway, Germany, Australia. And Hummingbird has an interesting take on the sandwich. Sandwiches are serious business, so let's just get that straight. Yes, Mary is correct. But I have... Uh... Ooh, Ann Casillas throwing it down. Bacon, peanut butter, and jelly on toasted sourdough. Allen on the deck at 12. She is leaving no room for argument. Alan Ballantyne asking questions. What is a fluffer nutter? A lot of people know the banana phone song, Tampa B man. I swear to God, Barbara, I don't even have kids and I know that shit. I'm going to let y'all fight about cheese whiz between the crags. Hey lady, how you doing? I'm glad to see you in here. It's been a minute. Ooh, that sounds girl. Yes, Jen Marie. 
My favorite is toasted bagel with peanut butter and cream cheese swirled together. Oh, that sounds good. Damn, it's a little more carby than I can roll with, but mmm. Jenna G, I think you bragged on your mom's peanut butter cookies before. And it upsets me because then it makes me want peanut butter cookies and I can't have them. Can we vape on the cruise? I gather it won't be a problem. It will not. As long as what you're vaping is not THC based. If it's just like a tobacco replacement like mine is, it should be fine. Anything beyond that? I can't condone publicly as a travel advisor. Message me. We'll talk. Yeah, uh-oh. I see ya. And it's okay. Because here's what I have to say with all almost 70 of you in the chat. Happy birthday to you. Sing il chuka amida. Happy birthday, Mark Hartman. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Everybody say happy birthday to Mark Hartman, please. Oh, cricket, y'all, Skippy peanut butter, no sugar added. Try it tasting basically exactly the same as giant jars of Skippy, but it's small and near the protein ones. It expires a little quicker. Yeah, and you know what? Regular Skippy has just as few grams of carbs that it's not even worth paying the extra amount for the no sugar added. I've compared labels. I'm serious about peanut butter. I love peanut butter so much. God damn, I love peanut butter. Saturday night at Denny's, baby. Damn right, Karen McAllister. Yeah, we have keto bread here, Alan Ballantyne. I get it at Aldi. It's amazing. Houston also has Johnny Dang's grills and DJ Screw's chopped and screwed beets. Nice. Your a-hole cat just woke you up? Damn, Jen Marie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, a-hole cat. Looks like it's on at midnight then. Oh, it's always on at midnight. Try to find keto sourdough for you. T Barbara's a crunchy peanut butter gal. Half has had three kids and never heard banana phone. Y'all... It's from the deep, dark histories of internet memes. It show sure enough is. There's a place where I live in northern Idaho that makes a peanut butter bacon cheeseburger. Holy gods, it's good. You know what? I can believe that. I put peanut butter on fire roasted hot dogs and it was redonkulously good. It was stupid good. It was so dumb. I was kind of mad about it just in case I drink too much and begin to act somewhat inappropriate. Just say back up bucko. All right, Deanna Downey. I got you. Normal vape. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. They have, they have designated smoking areas and any place that's a designated smoking area is also a designated vaping area. The difference between smoking and vaping is that if you smoke a cigarette in your room, they'll know about it. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Here comes Jen with the next level. Peanut butter cookies dipped in chocolate milk. 
bitch, you are speaking my language right now. My language when I'm not vetoing. Banana phone is your ringtone, sunshines. That's amazing. I vape and did so in casino and smoking area and on deck. Yep, absolutely. You're the sweetest. Just, you know, had to recognize, man. Had to recognize. Yeah. I was having a nightmare. So grateful you're live. Well, I hope your nightmare didn't involve sandwiches. Because sandwiches apparently is the the thing, the food of the evening. And I wish that Gretchen only was here because sandwiches. I'm sorry about the nightmare though. That sucks. Ooh, Tamar June. One cup peanut butter, one egg, and one cup sugar or non-sugar mix like Splenda. Splenda for baking. Roll into small balls. <laughs> balls! Freeze or squish dough with a fork and bake. I've tried with Splenda because it has more body, but good stuff. Okay. I'll use Splenda for baking. Shit. Bake what? At 350? For how long? Are they still chewy? I don't want no crunchy cookies, okay? One cup peanut butter, one egg, one, let's see, sweet. Splenda for baking. Okay, I need to know the temperature. It's probably 350 because it's fucking everything's at 350. And then for how long? Help me. Fat girl needs to know. Oh, fair, because keto is, is an equation-based one. My neuro had me doing no added sugar at all, and then I stuck with that, but PB added back a bunch of other sugar-added things. Okay, yep. Yep, I have to do math. Because I do keto, I have to do math. Uh, somebody looking for artsy's, I can give you artsy's email address. I'll pop it in the chat. Only mods can, uh, put links and I don't have any mods. It's just me. But I've popped it in the chat right now. So, um, artsy tartsy's email address 350 for eight to 10. Thank you. 350, 8 to 10. Done. You can Google the recipe for three ingredient peanut butter cookies. Yep. But yeah, I have to do... Um, I have to do math with the keto, but it's worth it. It does, it does work. Now I got to get back to where I was. Okay. Crunchy peanut butter. My oldest is allergic to peanuts. Half is a peanut butter addict. Combining peanut butter with savory meats is out tech. Well, you know what? Then I'm proud to be out tech, Bilf. Go to hiccup remedy. Nice, Jen Marie. Kimchi on hot dogs for dinner tonight. Okay. Not mad at you, Steph N. Good to see ya. Now I want peanut butter 
cookies and chocolate milk. No shit. And casillas. Kids, I am falling asleep. Keep up the shenanigans. Remember, don't be the problem. Don't be part of the problem. Be the whole problem. And tip your cruise goddess if you can. Thank you so much, Anne. Sleep well or kick this day's hiney. Damn straight. I hope that you sleep sweet, Anne Casillas. Thank you so much. Rick Spicer uses peanut butter to reduce candy input. Nice. Almond Tonka butter on bread. Nice. Uh, <laughs> she said balls. Balls. Now, come on. Two slices of angel food cake. Peanut butter on one. Cool whip on the other. Cool whip on the other. Put together as a sandwich. That's just mean. That's dirty pool. Peanut butter balls. What do you get when you cross a donkey and a jar of peanut butter? The joke that my mother told me when I was like 12. Piece of ass, it sticks to the roof of your mouth. Came up with a whole scene about the sandwich tell and the comment length is so short it would take forever. Sorry, Cyberkender. It's a bitch, isn't it? Rick Spicer's got a new pizza dough. Peanut butter bacon balls. You keep talking my language, sunshines. Duchess Diana, you got to put the phone down and you'll be, we'll be listening. Good night, sleep tight. Love you all. Okay. Get back into that dream, Diana, and tell us more about the sandwiches. We require details. You made me. Sandwiches, sandwiches. You knew I'd never eat all of these sandwiches. Oh, see, Janet, I see your recipe in here, but I don't have enough room to be writing all that stuff down. Would it, you know what, though? If you would please put it in the comment. After the after the live stream, I would love that. I would be forever indebted. Peanut butter in a burger is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Lord Kiss Freak. I've actually had peanut butter in a sushi roll. It was surprisingly good. Ooh, have had toxic hell for dinner. Sophia needs a new sourdough starter. Artsy Tartsy needs to go get a snack. Sometimes we chat music. Sometimes we chat food. So the song Cheeseburger in Paradise comes to mind. Fair enough. Peanut butter pie is the bomb. Ooh, that sounds fucking good. You make your husband peanut butter icing for his cakes. Very good. We call it taco smell. Nice song. Which one, Jen? I say, oh, the sandwiches, sandwiches. Yeah. Screenshot? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I suck at computer. Banana bacon bourbon blondies. Oh, shut the fuck up, Cyber Kender, right now. My God, that sounds amazing. I want those. So while there are so many people in here, and since I've been going for over an hour, let me be a good YouTube host and say hi and welcome, and I'm glad you're here. And uh, please feel free to hit the like or the dislike, whichever you choose. 
not here to tell you what to think. But uh, yeah, one of those two. And if you would be so kind as to hit the subscribe button and check to see if you are still subscribed, that would be wonderful as well. Much love to you all. This is Alan Ballantyne. Gotta go. Take care. All right, Alan Ballantyne, you have yourself a lovely evening, Mr. Sir. And I'm really glad that you stopped in to say hello. That was fun. Um, please make sure that you're still subscribed or hit the subscribe button for the very first time if it's uh, if you like what you hear. And um, yeah, we've got Super Chats available if you wish to support the channel. And if you wish to support the channel in a way that YouTube will not take 30% of, down in the description box is my email where you can ask me questions or give me answers or book your Zena Marlene cruise or whatever you want to do. And also the um, my PayPal and the Denver Stevo or the, the Venmo that Denver Stevo made me get are also in there as well. Whoever you are, Generation X, um, I'm not that old, and it's only 2.30 in the morning here, so GFY. Sorry, if it's late for you, then maybe you should be the one going to bed. Susan and Deanna having almost the same pick throws me off. Fair enough. It was good to see you, Alan. Emailed you the screenshot of the recipe in case I took one too. Ah, very nice, very nice. You're the ghost in the machine. Presh. Absolutely precious. Creepy B5 has been watching, by the way, and she misses us all. Tambor June just sent me the cookies screenshot. I love it. Or the, the cookies recipe. Well, I guess I'm going to have to make some cookies. That's what I'll be doing of a Sunday afternoon is I'm going to be making me some keto cookies because that peanut butter has the extra fat in it. The egg provides just enough protein. That's going to work. I love it. Super chat from Janet G. Thank you so much, honey. My PayPal was hacked and is frozen. So thank you for a lovely sandwich time. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. We love sandwich time. Who's calling people gross? Thank you, Janet G. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya, Mark. 3.30 here for me and I am old going to bed. Well, sunshines, I hope that you sleep sweet and rest well. Yep. I know we all miss Creepy B5. We certainly do. And we're going to be keeping an eye out for her. She's, um, I know she's watching on the replay crew. She's been commenting. Ooh. Sophia's got a tea chocolate cake rising. That sounds amazing. Creepy's been offline. She's had to have some medical stuff done. And so she hasn't really been doing a whole lot on, on you know, live streaming. But she, she left a comment on last night's stream. She's popping in. She's rocking the replay crew. And uh, we know that she's, she's around. She's paying attention. You're not old as fuck, Barbara. Stop. Um, yeah, she's around, she's around, she's just, she's just, uh, she's rocking the replay crew and she's getting herself healthy and that's the important bit, right? That's all we need. We just, we just want to have, we just want to have healthy people, healthy people. 
or as healthy as they can be. We're all a mess, right? But healthy people. And, and we're just doing our best to get along. I'm actually really looking forward to making those cookies tomorrow. That sounds fucking good. Miss Sunrise Dawn wants to let us know that Gizmo is continuing to get better and better. Eating dry food for the first time in about three weeks. And we love that. We love that. Good job, Giz. Yeah, lots of people. Creepy when you're watching on the replay crew. Um, there's a lot of people. I hope you're watching the live chat replay as well. Because there's a lot of people saying good things to you. We miss you. So heal up. Heal up. Julia, you wanted me to start singing Thunder Rolls or Come Monday. It'll be all right. Come Monday. Um, I can't. Garth Brooks has a, a lower range than I can comfortably deal with. Um, I know a little bit of Come Monday. But not much of it. I know the chorus, but that's that's about it. Thunder Rolls is really fun in sign language. Oh, I bet. There you go, Tamra June. Bake some cookies with your mom tomorrow. That would be great. And if I can make them keto cookies, that's going to make me even happier. And then I'll wave them in Alan Ballantyne's face. Be like, bro, we can have cookies. They can be low carb. La la la. Oh, y'all. I am exhausted, though. So I think I'm going to wind things down here. But I'm uh, super happy. For everybody who came to join me tonight. Old is snot. How can snot isn't old though? It generates like constantly. How can you be old as snot? That just doesn't make sense. What am I drinking? Flavored water on ice. Speaking of ice, we got to have our ice cube, our nightly ice cube ASMR. Anyway, my beloveds, I see the people fleeing. And um, I've dropped from 69 viewers to 53 in like 30 seconds or less. So anyway, how does my ice not melt? The ice cubes get smaller and smaller as they go. But I start the hour with brandy new fresh ice cubes. So it takes a while. Here we go. Yep. I hear ya. <sighs> Thank you, Cyber Kender. Anyway, my loves, I'm really glad that you people showed up tonight, that you hung out with me, that you chose to spend time with me. I just appreciate y'all. And I'm glad that we were able to talk significantly and extensively about sandwiches and about cookies and about keto. It was so cool to have Alan Ballantyne here and, and Lord Kiss Freak. And I'm just, I had a good night tonight, y'all. We laughed, we sang songs, we got silly. And I think that's precisely the antidote 
for today that we needed. So thanks for indulging me. I appreciate you guys. I hope that you rest well and you sleep sweet. I hope that in the coming snowstorm that's happening, everybody stays safe, stays warm. Mark Hardman turned 64 during this whole thing. It was crazy. Oh, gizmo pick before we leave. Okay. Um, Lord, this poor cat. He looks like he is going through it, y'all. But at least he doesn't have the giant sores on his head anymore. So that's something. Poor kid. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's getting through it. <sighs> Be safe. Stay warm. Stay well. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Same bug time, same bug channel. Peace to you.